Just the past 24 hours, a child was found with a gun at two high school campuses. Today, Jordan High School in Durham, and then yesterday, Millbrook High School in Raleigh, in an instance that it was a loaded semi-automatic rifle brought to school. WRL's Adam Owens has a reaction from a Millbrook parent in a minute. First, let's go ahead and go to Mark Boyle in the WRL Live Center with what we've learned about this new case out of Durham. Mark. Deborah, the situation at Jordan High School is still active here this evening. These are live pictures coming in outside the school. You can see uh, the Durham County Sheriff's Department on scene right now, and this investigation is ongoing. On your screen, this is the new information we have right now at 601. A lockdown was issued this afternoon around 3.30. Deputies are questioning a 14-year-old student. The school resource officer was given a tip about the firearm. That's how this all unfolded, and it's unclear exactly the motive for bringing this weapon to campus uh, and the circumstances surrounding it. So as we mentioned, still a uh, presence out there with deputies on scene and we'll keep you up to date as new information comes in on this from investigators or the principal later this evening. Back to you. All right, Mark, thank you. New stronger security measures will be in place during tomorrow's basketball game at Millbrook High School in Raleigh. This is the scene last night after a juvenile was found with a loaded AR-15 at the game. The juvenile was taken into custody with no reports of injuries, but parents want to know how this could have happened. Some of them talked with WRL's Adam Owens, who joins us live from Millbrook. Adam. Yeah, Gerald, and as we've recently learned again, that was a loaded AR-15 rifle that was at last night's high school basketball game. Police are telling us that, but not at the moment telling us how that rifle made its way inside that game. That's what a lot of parents want to know. We do know moving forward, clear bags will not will only be allowed at these games. No unclear bags and all coats must be unzipped. While all eyes were on the basketball court, officers were searching the crowd. This is some of the radio traffic from Broadcastify. Juvenile detained over here at Millbrook High School. They say they found someone at Millbrook High School with an AR-15 rifle. To hide that large you know, type of rifle and, and walk into a game. Lackey Atkins was in the crowd at the game. Her son is on the Hillside High team playing against Millbrook. As the kid who had the gun was taken into custody, she says spectators were told nothing about the potential danger. We were not given any sort of information real time as to what type of position we were placed in. When parents did learn what happened, they wanted to know how it could have happened. There's a problem that a, a kid got into a basketball event with an AR-15. How do you do that? It's not a handgun that he hit. That he hit. It's an AR-15. We need metal detectors. I don't see why we don't have them. WREL talked with Connor Healy with a security technology research group. He says metal detectors would not do much to stop something like a mass shooting with a rifle. So the best case for for metal detectors in schools is that they'll prevent students from concealing a smaller weapon. Millbrook has another game Saturday against Jordan High. This time there will be enhanced security. That includes more law enforcement, only clear bags allowed, no backpacks permitted in the gym, and jackets and coats must be fully unzipped to get in. And police tell us they have been granted a juvenile petition against that kid that had the gun. That's what we're learning at this moment. Again, a big security, new security and enhanced security will be taking place at the games scheduled for tomorrow. Back to you. Adam Owens live in Raleigh. Thank you, Adam. There were two more scares at local schools today. Southeast Raleigh High School went into a code red lockdown around 1230 this afternoon because of a report of a student on campus with a firearm. Authorities identified the student in question and they found no gun. The lockdown was lifted 15 minutes later. And there was a threat made on Snapchat targeting Fuquay Varina High School, the second one this week. School officials also say that threat was not.